Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about what is Azure Data Bricks, and we will talk about Apache Spark based analytics platform. Then I will log into Azure portal. Then I will show you how to create a Databricks workspace and run a Spark job on Azure Databricks using the Azure portal. What is Azure Databricks? Azure Databricks is an Apache Spark based analytics platform optimized for the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services platform. Designed with the founders of Apache Spark, Databricks is integrated with Azure to provide one click setup, streamlined workflows, and an interactive workspace that enables collaboration between data scientists, data engineers, and business analysts. Azure Databricks provides the latest versions of Apache Spark and allows you to seamlessly integrate with open source libraries, spin up clusters, and build quickly in a fully managed Apache Spark environment with the global scale and availability of Azure. Clusters are set up, configured, and fine-tuned to ensure reliability and performance without the need for monitoring. Azure Databricks is a fast, easy, and collaborative Apache Spark-based analytics service. For a big data pipeline, the data is ingested into Azure through Azure Data Factory in batches or streamed near real time using Kafka, Event Hub, or IoT Hub. This data lands in a data lake for long term persistent storage in Azure Blob Storage or Azure Data Lake Storage. Apache Spark based analytics platform. Azure Databricks comprises the complete open source Apache Spark cluster technologies and capabilities. Spark in Azure Databricks includes the following components Spark SQL and data frames, streaming and machine learning library, and graphics, graphs, and graph computation. Spark Core API. Spark SQL and data frames. Spark SQL is the Spark module for working with structured data. A data frame is a distributed collection of data organized into named columns. It is conceptually equivalent to a table in a relational database or a data frame in Python. Streaming. Real-time data processing and analysis for analytical and interactive applications. It integrates with HDFS and Kafka. Machine, libra machine learning library consisting of common learning algorithm and utilities, including classification, regression, clustering, collaborative filtering, dimensional reduction, as well as underlying optimization primitives. Graphic, graphs. Graphs and graph computation for a broad scope of use cases from cognitive analytics to data exploration. Spark Core API. Spark Core API includes support for R, SQL, Python, Scala, and Java. Azure Databricks builds on the capabilities of Spark by providing a zero management cloud platform that includes fully managed Spark clusters, an interactive workspace for exploration, exploration and visualization, a platform for powering your favorite Spark-based application. 
I will log into Azure Portal Law. I will show you how to create a Databricks workspace and run a spot job on Azure Databricks using the Azure Portal. I'm in Azure Portal now. I will go to home, go to search. I will type Databricks. You can see Azure Databricks under services. Just click on it. Just click on add. I'll create a resource group. I will say Azure Databricks as a resource group. Then workspace, I'll say data break one. Location East US and pricing plans, standard premium trial. I will pick standard Apache Spark secure with Azure Active Directory. Go to networking. Deploy Azure Databricks workspace in your own virtual network. I say no. Let's go to review. Create this Databricks workspace. Deployment in progress. Yeah, deployment is complete now. Let's go to resource. Now we can see Azure Databricks workspace is created. Let's launch this workspace. So we are in this workspace. Let I will create a new cluster. Click on new cluster and I will say spark cluster one and then cluster mode standard in pool. Let's keep it none and runtime version. Let's keep it 6.5 scalar and minimum workers to maximum workers eight let's create this cluster so now while cluster is creating i will go to home and i will click on new notebook say notebook one and default language, I will keep it Python. And then cluster, Spark cluster. And let's create this notebook under Spark cluster. Now our cluster is still creating. I just wait a couple of minutes. Now our Spark cluster is running. So let's go to home and go to notebook. In this module, we will create a Spark data frame with Boston safety data from Azure Open data sets and we use SQL to query the data. I have some Python scripts. I will just copy that Python script here in the command. So this this the following command sets the, this, follow, this command sets the Azure storage access information. So I will run this shell. Now you can see the progress getting an execution context.
then you can add a new command window I will copy one more command this command allows spot to read from blob storage remotely now our first command ran successfully so here you can can check it then let's let's run the second command the second command allows spark to read from blob storage remotely we'll run the second command now i will add one more command third command this command creates a data frame and then i will add one more command in this command i will use i will run a sql statement to return the top 15 rows of data from the temporary temporary view called source this query will return the top 15 rows i'll change it to top 15 limit 15 and let's say top 15 this sql statement return the top 15 rows of data from the temporary view called source after this command runs successfully we will see a tabular output we can see this tabular output we can now create a visual representation of this data to show how many safety events are reported using the citizens connect app and city worker app instead of other sources so here we can see it click on and then plot options now i will use key as a source i will set keys to source and values to ids here you can drag this id into values and then aggregation count now we can say display type bar chart if you want to look in pie chart more you can click on it if you want to see any other more line chart line chart is not available but if you want to see in bar chart you can change and pivot table you can say it source city worker app and id five six i will bring bring it back to pie chart just apply now we can say it here so this is how we create we create a databricks workspace and run a spark job on azure databricks using azure portal if you have any questions on azure databricks please post it in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you